G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. My name is Sean. If you're new here and you don't know what I talk about, I talk about technology, I do tutorials, I live stream, uh, gaming, unboxings, reviews, opinions, everything and anything technology really. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Logitech G Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any other future videos that I do this year. And let's begin. Alrighty guys, so if you've been paying attention and been following uh, along my journey, I have been reviewing a lot of keyboards and mice of recent. I've recently reviewed things like the Corsair K68, GameDS products, um, I've done recently the Asus Strix Flare. So I've tested quite a number of keyboards and mice now, I feel like I've got a good handle on what makes up a good product. Um, I've recently reviewed the Logitech G613 wireless mechanical keyboard, which I absolutely love. I've been a huge fan of wireless gaming peripherals for a long time now. But wireless gaming products have always been um, a bit of an issue because of their higher latency, um, poor battery life, lack of features, and the list goes on. So you would have always had to go to something like Corsair or Asus or you know pick up one of the other mechanical keyboards from like Razer or something else. But Logitech and their gaming um, range have obviously put a lot of effort into things like the light speed sensor, their hero sensor for their mice, and the G613 wireless gaming keyboard, which I recently reviewed, I'll leave a link up in the corner for that one, is probably my favorite keyboard at the moment. It's probably the one that I will stick with um, for the foreseeable future until something better comes out. But I absolutely love the whole concept of wireless gaming peripherals, especially now that the latency is getting so low that it is indistingu indistinguishable from a cabled keyboard or mouse. So the Logitech Wireless G Pro gaming mouse is easily, I think, the best gaming mouse that I've ever tried, probably the best mouse that I've ever tried. Um, my day-to-day -day when I'm at work, I'm using something like the Logitech MX Master, which, more, which is more of an ergonomic design. It's a much heavier mouse, um, has a lot more focus on the customizable keys and other keys on the mouse and things that you can do. But this is really focused at, you know, for those of you playing FPS games, fast action um, role playing games and you did have ultra low latency um, on your mouse. You might be someone that is flicking a lot like in games like CSGO um, and so obviously having a cable can be become a bit of an issue. So the Logitech G Pro wireless gaming mouse I think resolves all of those particular issues. Some of the things that I really like this mouse from the outset is that it only weighs about 80 grams. If we just quickly go down to their website here, it only weighs 80 grams um, total and that includes the built-in battery which is just absolutely incredible. The mouse itself is quite simple you just have a left and right click, um, a scroll wheel and then you've got these left um, sort of forward and back buttons on the left you can actually take them out if you want to and switch it and put it onto the right hand side so it is an ambidextrous mouse someone that is left-handed or right-handed won't have any issues using this particular product. In terms of the design, it's really, really simple. Um, you've got this sort of soft touch black plastic. You've got some RGB elements that put in the little Logitech G logo at the back, and you've got a battery light indicator. So if I turn off the mouse and then turn it back on again, you'll see like these three little dots, which tells you your battery life. The mouse itself, you can go ahead and recharge by plugging in a micro USB cable to the front. Um, you can game and charge at the same time if you want to do that. So they do include the cable for that. The cable locks in as well, so it's not going to go anywhere. And then at the bottom here, if you pull out this little cap, you've got a space here to put in your USB receiver. So that's something else that comes in the box that you'll need to plug into your PC is the USB receiver for it to obviously have a connection. Um, something else that is actually awesome about this particular mouse is that it supports the PowerPlay software and hardware from Logitech. So what that means is if you want to get the Logitech PowerPlay mouse pad, it means that your mouse can actually wirelessly recharge on the mouse pad while you're gaming. So what that means is you never ever have to plug in a cable again. 
obviously it does mean that your mouse pad is cabled and plugging into a USB port somewhere on the back of your computer maybe. So if you are wanting to go for a completely wireless setup, you probably won't uh, use that mouse pad. But if one cable doesn't bother you for a mouse pad that can recharge your mouse, I think um, you know it's definitely worth the investment if you're you know really focused on having the most seamless gaming experience and using wireless gaming peripherals. The Hero Sensor, I've never actually experienced a mouse with the Hero Sensor. It is super, super responsive. I've been using things like the Corsair Harpoon and the Asus Strix, um, I think it's called the Strafe, sorry, the Flare gaming mouse, which both have amazing sensors in them. And I would say that this easily is as good or if not better than those gaming mouse. It is super responsive. I've noticed that when I'm in, you know, fast paced action games like Apex Legends or CSGO that my accuracy is um, somehow even a little bit better, maybe because I have a little bit more control and refinement over the particular mouse, or maybe that it's just that it's a lighter mouse and I'm not feeling any snag on the cable. So. I absolutely love this mouse. In terms of its battery life, if you have the lighting on it, you're gonna get about 48 hours um, of gaming. If you have it with no lighting, you're gonna get about 60 hours. The sensor um, is from 100 DPI up to 16,000 DPI. You can store your profiles on the mouse as well, so you don't have to worry about installing software. You've got here a max acceleration of 40G and a max speed of 400 IPS for those of you who are focused on that stuff. Um, the responsiveness from this mouse is a USB data format of 16-bit, USB report rate of 1000 Hz, so you can actually achieve a one millisecond, um, I guess, latency response from this particular mouse using the Logitech Lightspeed technology. So, and then the, uh, the microprocessor is a 32-bit ARM microprocessor. The main buttons, you're gonna get up to 50 million clicks on the top, so I don't think you're gonna be wearing it out anytime, uh, anytime soon. And then the skates on the bottom, you're gonna get up to 250 kilometers of you know travel on these skates before they wear through. So this could really be the mouse that um, is your possibly your last gaming mouse that you'll ever need. Personally, I can't see myself moving away from this mouse anytime soon. Um, maybe when a newer model comes on the market, I'll get that one but I absolutely love this gaming mouse. So if you wanna know the price of this particular product, Logitech does advertise it for, I think it's around about $250 on their website. If you go somewhere like on a um, Australian retailer like JW Computers, you can pick it up as low as 229. And then if you're looking at getting it on Amazon, you're gonna be paying around about 250 to 260. So I'll leave links on where to buy this particular product down below in the description. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this particular product, let me know. Um, if if you like this video give it a like if you didn't like this video give it a dislike and if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comment section down below so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one cheers